there's a lot of drum gurus out there telling you that this grip is wrong and i'm here to tell you that this is complete bullshit lots of drummers out there are spreading bad advice and information about drum grip and finger placements some even want you to cancel and ban traditional grip because they're too lazy to put in the work and effort to get better at it but you know just groove baby groove so I'm gonna break this down in two different categories. We're gonna talk about rebound and then we're gonna talk about stick grip. Rebound's gonna be real quick. So basically rebound can be produced a number of different ways, but none of the grips or techniques will matter if your fingers are placed on the wrong part of the stick. You have to find the balance points of the stick. What do I mean by that? Basically, you don't want your stick grip to be too far up or too far back because if so, you won't be able to produce that rebound. Matter of fact, you might even feel some discomfort or even hurt your fingers. But once you find it, you can pretty much hold the damn stick however you want as long as it is at the balance point. And if you have a drum or a pad with sufficient enough rebound. Now, of course, you don't have to use rebound. If you want to just pound your way through the drums with your just groove, baby groove, stick grip, then that's on you. But to everyone else, you want to utilize the rebound on whatever you're playing, a ride cymbal, a hi-hat, a snare drum, a multi-tenor drum, concrete, wood, it doesn't matter. Pretty much everything that doesn't have a soft surface is going to have sufficient enough rebound. If you're playing on something like a pillow, that's a different story, but we're not playing on pillows. We're playing on fuck. We're either playing on drums or we're using practice pads. Now here is the fun part. We're gonna talk about stick grip now. Now again, there are a number of different ways drummers will grip it. Traditional grip, double traditional grip, French grip, American grip, German grip, elbow grip, feet grip, you get the point. This is where things can get a little fucked up at. If your fucking point is all over the place, there's a strong chance that you'll have a little to no control over your sticks. And that can be disastrous from sticks flying out of your hands to even possibly hurting yourself. Yes, it's possible to fuck your fingers up if you put too much pressure on certain parts of your fingers or you rub your sticks against them a certain way. This is why most rudimental drummers grip their sticks like this. It doesn't indicate if your stick grip is too tight and it will not restrict your rebound. Go back to the earlier part of this video if you wanna learn about rebound again. If it's restricting yours, then you might have to make some slight adjustments to the techniques that you are using. Your thumb and index finger will dictate how much control you have over your drumsticks and that goes for traditional grip as well. And if you say this only applies to rudimental drummers that's absolute bullshit as well in most cases you won't have the opportunity to always practice on a drum kit or a marching snare drum a multi-tenor drum whatever the drum you are playing on and that is exactly why drum pads exist in the first place so essentially even if you play on a drum set you are also still a rudimental drummer and you should work on good habits with these techniques but you know if you want to go and continue to listen to these but of course if you want to continue to listen to these drum gurus and then come on my videos talking all that shit about my techniques and what I'm doing, how I'm playing my double stroke rolls, single stroke rolls, whatever the place is. Go ahead and use whatever techniques you want. And to those who are actually really serious about building their chops up, you can get started for free by downloading my ebook because it goes into more details about chop building and finger techniques and all of that stuff. And again, if you think I'm full of shit with this video, then go ahead and do your own thing. I'd love to see how much progress you make with it so I can laugh at you. This is why drummers are hitting plateaus with drum speed or, or just skills in general because they don't know the techniques that'll push them to the next level. Now this video isn't to call out other drum gurus or anything like that. I'm pretty sure whatever techniques they're using works for them. But I don't like when bad information is being passed out there, especially when it comes to this stick grip. Drummers that say that this stick grip is wrong are full of shit. And I just wanted to explain why in this video. Don't be a lazy bum. Go and download my ebook. And I hope you have a nice day.